I demand, I demand, I demand a vaccination to come immediately. Yes. I love you, Holy Spirit. I love you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Holy Spirit. I love you, Holy Spirit of the Most High God. Holy Spirit of the Most High God. Welcome back, people of the Most High God, Jesus Christ. And today's message is called The Falling Away in the Mystery of the Holy Spirit. He who now letteth will let. All right. So I got my, I got my scriptures on the board. We're gonna start off in, we gonna start off in Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse three. As you can see, it starts. It says, "Let no man deceive you." Right. Let no man deceive you. It's a lot of deception going on these days. A lot of deception. So it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalt, exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God, right? Right? So let's go to seven. It says, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, right? Right? So we're gonna we're gonna focus we're gonna we're gonna focus on he, right? He, who is this he? Who is this he? This he, this he is the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. And I'm, and I'm going to prove it to you, right? So before we get this, I got some little side notes, right? I say, the function of the Holy Spirit is not just living in the body of the believers. He is not just the Holy Spirit, but he is also the spirit of a God, the spirit of God, and is, and is a person, right? Right? So if you take a look at my board here, it says a person far and away, right? Now let's go. It says let's go to Hosea four six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, right? You see this, right? Knowing the ledge, people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, or can you say a lack of knowing the ledge? Hence, falling away. You see that, right? They don't know the ledge, lack of knowledge, they don't know the ledge, so they fall away, right? So let's break this down, right? So, and another 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 emphasis, right, on who this he is, right? John 4, 14, 16, right? Paraphrase, it says, He shall give you another comforter that he, that he, may abide with you forever, right? Right? So, what we at next? Say, Genesis, Genesis 6-3, right? Genesis 6-3. 
my spirit shall not always strive with men, right? Right? My spirit shall not always strive with men. And, the, and in the Hebrew, it's, it says, my spirit shall not live in human beings forever, right? So, so that lets you know that it, that it's the Holy Spirit, it's the Holy Spirit that is, that is slowly, that is slowly giving these people over to their own desire, right? Because it's the Holy Spirit, it's the Holy Spirit that strives, that strives with men, right? But when this happens, only he who now letteth will let till he be taken out of the way, right? He, God is going to take the Holy Spirit out of, out of, out of one of his functions, which is striving with men, right? Striving, striving so that the human race won't be as depraved, won't be as depraved as it could be, right? Not speaking of the whole, not, not speaking of his function in the believers, but as far as his function, as far as, uh, Making sure the whole world doesn't go crazy, right? So let me let me let me let me give you some more scriptures just just to show you that that the Holy Spirit does more than just live inside the believer. Let's go to Revelations four or five. Revelations four or five. Chapter chapter four verse five. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunder, thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Right. Now, let me let me let me let me let me put these two together so they make more sense. Now we're going to go to Revelations 5, 6, right? 5, 6, it says. And I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the midst of the of the four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes right seven eyes which are the seven spirits of god sent forth into all the earth right so this this seven spirits of god this is this is the holy spirit this is the holy spirit because they're on the lamb right they're on the lamb Right. Right. So the biggest the biggest mystery of iniquity is that is that these pastors, the Holy Spirit is giving them over to their own desires and the also and the, and the people who did not love the truth, but wanted to believe a lie. The Holy Spirit is going to slowly give them over to their own desires, right? So, thought I'd get at this, this quick lecture real quick. It actually went by faster than I thought it was. And my camera finna die anyway, so. Be blessed. In Jesus' name.